founder's first set of supporters can be critical to the early success of a startup. Access to a wider audience gives founders a greater chance of meeting the people that they need to gain traction, whether that's potential users, advisors, or funders. These elevator interviews are with founders that I've had the privilege to, to meet with and is meant to give them broader exposure um, in a very quick way. So, um, hi, Chris, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Vicky? Great. Uh, I'm so glad that you are here with us today. Um, I'd like to start this off with your 90 second soundbite and afterwards, Emma, uh, through her lens as an emerging innovator and former student of mine, um, and I will ask you a few clarifying questions. So um, she'll have her timer going and she'll give you some visual cues when you're near the end. Um, and uh, we'll start whenever you're ready. Sounds good. Um, I'll get going then. Great. So as a former Major League Baseball player, Myself, I'm very passionate about the game of baseball and the impact it can have on the youth of America. I think it's helped make me the man I am today. The amateur baseball space has is, is gotten very, very big over the years, and I'm acutely aware of that space and all the problems that exist in it, both from an individual and from a coaching standpoint. There are multiple organizations, uh, millions of athletes trying to learn how to get better at baseball, and there's a lack of professional coaching in the game. What my co-founder Bobby Tewksbury and I have done is we've built a platform to help scale professional coaching by doing data-driven, customized individual training programs for athletes. The idea behind it is to take in data from any source and ultimately translate that data into actionable plans for individual athletes to be able to train at a high level through professional instruction. Uh, we have key partnerships throughout the industry with a bunch of the tech partners who understand that uh, their products need our service. And we've also created a partnership with a massive uh, event-based organization, which will give us access to hundreds of thousands of athletes at uh, every level of amateur baseball. I'm good. I stayed under 90 seconds. That was my, uh, my pitch. Nice. That's a very cool pitch. Um, so for your adventure, uh, who exactly would be uh, the ones uh, using it? Would it be the athletes, the coaches? Uh, we so there's a there's an entire ecosystem in baseball so we've built a product to really handle all the solutions we have both b2b and b2c solutions meant for individual athletes and coaches as well very innovative i like that um and are there any alternatives right now and um why are those alternatives inadequate to solving the problem I have? so there are certain companies who are trying to do pieces of what we're trying to do uh, from a scheduling time management standpoint, people use individual CRMs to run their programs. There are definitely athlete management platforms, but certainly not any that are trying to create customized training through data-driven solutions. Uh, the biggest challenge, and we say this a lot, our biggest competitor is Google Sheets because uh, so many coaches at the amateur level are trying to organize their coaching styles and they end up turning into thousands and thousands of spreadsheets with, with programs. Our idea is to take the data and allow coaches to click a button and create individualized training for their athletes. Very nice, that's very cool. Um, and Vicky, do you have any questions or do you want me to talk about um, you? Yeah, so I guess uh, we always like to end um, our time together, which is always too short, um, but uh, is, is with the founder ask. Um, so I believe you are currently fundraising. Yep. So we're uh, we're in the middle of what we're calling a it's a seed kind of slash a round. Uh, everything was raised on a convertible note. Um, our advisors who are wonderful and have had multiple exits themselves have really helped us kind of uh, comb through the weeds of of what fundraising looks like. So we are closing a convertible note shortly. Okay. So you're raising two fifty. Um, and. And um, I'm sorry, that's not, uh, no, you're not, you have 250,000 left of your raise and you've already raised how much again? Uh, 1.7. 1.7, okay, fantastic. Um, all right, so uh, we are at time. Um, thank you, Chris, for, for joining us. Um, so for those of you who are watching, uh, we know that investors have uh, many levels of risk tolerances and areas of investment interests, as well as broad networks. Uh, so if you or someone you know uh, can potentially support Chris uh, and his co-founder Bobby in what they're working on, 
uh, please look for the details in the description or for this video. Thank you very much.